Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and uh, we will be starting our series on USMLE steps. Uh, this video is about how I got plus 250 in the USMLE step 1. So uh, to begin with I was a medical student at the time I was uh, third year at the end of third year preparing for my exams. Uh, to me medicine was quite boring. I wasn't like really attracted to medicine because of the anatomy and uh, all other subjects uh, which didn't make it very well fun uh, and I thought that I will become a bureaucrat and join the civil services of, of my country uh, but uh, the whole idea changed uh, while I was uh, preparing for my third year exams uh, actually I was staying at my friend's hostel room at that time um, he was not there so uh, I had an interest in uh, looking at things so uh, I looked at uh, some of his books uh, he was preparing for USMLE step 1 at that time and I looked at uh, first aid as well as uh, he also has some uh, pirated copies of U words so I took a look at those as well and uh, those seem really interesting to me uh, so uh, then I thought that Maybe I should give it a try. I did a little a bit of homework and uh, started uh, preparing for the uh, USMLE exams once I was done with my uh, college examinations. Uh, I started with the Kaplan um, since my basics were not very strong. I started, uh, I bought the whole uh, Kaplan uh, book sets as well as the question bank of Kaplan. Uh, it took me like uh, about five to six months, I would say, to. Uh, take over all the Kaplans and then about a month in uh, doing the uh, Kaplan question bank. All, all of these were like pirated editions that uh, I could easily get in my uh, country. And uh, for the biostats, I used the uh, uh, U-word uh, 70 or 74 questions uh, that were really helpful. And for the uh, uh, ethics, I used the Conrad uh, 100 cases, which were really helpful as well. Uh, for the pathology, I was confused whether I should do a uh, pathoma or whether I should do the Goljan. Goljan was a new book at that time and not many people knew about it. Uh, so uh, I uh, uh, surveyed some pools and people were more inclined towards Goljan. And so I started with Goljan uh, and I'm glad that I made this decision. Although I also uh, watched the uh, videos of Pathoma, Pathoma is really concise and really helpful in consolidating the pathology concepts. But uh, Goljan is very broad. If you are in med school and if you have sufficient time, I would highly recommend Goljan. I think it really made a difference in my scores. So uh, after I was done with uh, the basics, uh, I started uh, the first aid, which I think everyone who is going to uh, prepare for this exam should buy and should cram it. Uh, you should know each and every word of your word. I repeat, you should know each and every word of uh, your word, uh, of the first aid, sorry. Uh, but uh, memorizing each and everything is not so easy. So for uh, consolidating my uh, first aid, I started USMLE Rx, which is a question bank uh, that has been designed on the lines of first aid. Uh, it has the same authors and uh, in the explanation they will take you to the exact pages of uh, first aid. Uh, that really helped me consolidating my uh, first aid. So once I had consolidated all the major concepts, I started uh, UWord. Uh, I had one month subscription of UWord and uh, I did it pretty easily uh, because of my uh, schedule uh, and I entered into my final phase which was revising, revising, revising each and everything again, again, again. So uh, let me talk about the uh, schedule uh, during those days. So I would wake up in the morning, I will go to uh, the lecture hall, uh, there were like two lectures in my final year. In the morning then I will go to the hospital uh, for my uh, clinical clerkships uh, after i was uh, done uh, around like 2 uh, pm i will come back to the hostel and sleep like a dog uh, once uh, i uh, woke up 
I will just shoot to the library of the hospital and uh, wouldn't take any break uh, in between. Uh, in the library, uh, I will study all night. The only entertainment that I had during that time was having a cup of tea and in between watching episodes of Friends and Modern Family. Um, then I would uh, go back to the hostel. I will sleep like for an hour uh, and uh, will wake up uh, at um, five minutes before the lecture and will just reach there without even um, uh, washing my face. So uh, these were rough times, but uh, uh, they were worth it. So all I did during these two, three months was only study first aid, do the U word again and take as many as NBMEs as possible. Uh, uh, I did only the offline NBMEs and which were uh, almost all of them were available. So I uh, almost took each and every one of them and uh, I had uh, the stats written so I kind of know where I am standing and uh, I was pretty comfortable before giving the exam that I am ready and that's the peak of my study. So based on my experience, my advice to all of the people who are going to do the steps in the near future is that uh, first identify uh, whether you really want to do it or not because some people they just want to do it because their friends are doing it, uh, someone in the family has done it in the past and uh, it's kind of like a peer pressure on them uh, but uh, first uh, you should uh, take a deep insight in yourself whether you are kind of a person who can uh, live without your relatives, friends and family uh, during the happiest occasions uh, because uh, this process itself takes like two to three years and residency is not a very uh, easy job. Uh, you have to be on your toes uh, in all of your three years of internal medicine. Uh, my only hope uh, when I was doing uh, the exams uh, was that uh, thousands of IMGs get matched each year and uh, many of uh, my uh, seniors also get matched every year and that was my hope because if many of the people have done it in the past then uh, why can't I and that should be your hope uh, as well. Um, in order to do the steps, you need to be uh, really hard working, but persistence is the key uh, because uh, you will have some uh, periods when you will be really low, but you need to be persistent and take over these times of uh, depression and uh, low self-esteem. Uh, also, uh, when I was doing my steps, I uh, make an ideal. Uh, there was some online person uh, that posted uh, her uh, uh, success story. Uh, I uh, uh, downloaded that copy, printed it and uh, hang it over my door and uh, uh, I uh, was just focusing on her NBMEs and her scores uh, because that score was my target. So I would make sure that my NBMEs have the same uh, or kind of uh, come around uh, where she was and uh, uh, happily uh, at the end I have the exact score with that lady had um, uh, have a clear cut deadline for me the deadline was that I have to give the exam before the end of my summer vacations of final year because I knew that after that I couldn't uh, do it uh, because of the final year exams which are so tough in our country so uh, have a clear cut deadline uh, and you shouldn't be uh, plus minus two uh, from your deadline and apart from that line, also do a lot of question banks. I did three question banks, U word, Kaplan, Rx, and even after that, I think I could have done more if uh, uh, there was something else uh, uh, available. But make sure that uh, you do a, a Q bank which is of a very good quality because uh, in uh, USMLE Rx and uh, U word, they're really good especially you would but Kaplan Quebec it's not um, I think very great and uh, there are some things or some concepts that will never be tested so uh, if you're doing Kaplan uh, you can skip some of the questions which uh, are unnecessary uh, always keep an eye on your stats where you are standing on your NBMEs uh, where are you are standing on your daily schedule and keep a record of that uh, whether you are going down going up uh, and uh, how much time do you have left so 
keep an eye on your stats and do all the NBMEs. I would highly encourage doing all the NBMEs because some of the questions uh, get repeated uh, in the NBME from the NBMEs into the actual exam. And most importantly, don't listen to the haters. You will come across many people who will say, uh, blah, 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 uh, USMLE is ending, you won't be matched, uh, IMGs cannot be matched, uh, it's a hectic journey. So don't listen to these people. Uh, I had uh, uh, these people in my class and they will be saying this and that, but I never listened to them and that's my success story. And in the end, have a good sleep. Even if you are at the peak of your study, have at least 8 to 10 hours of sleep. All I did during my hectic schedule was sleep for like 8 or 10 hours and other than that I wouldn't waste any single second of my time. And so have a good sleep uh, during these uh, intervals. Uh, in the end, I would say that I will be making some more uh, videos on how to uh, get match and uh, how to get uh, more interviews and uh, how much does it cost to get into uh, the USML, uh, USA residency. So uh, subscribe to my channel, comment uh, if you want some more videos and I will soon upload them as well.